I hope you're paying attention because a lot is happening right now and every new step leads to the same place. Code that writes itself. And I am not talking about tools to help developers write better code. I'm talking about artificial intelligence interpreting problems and writing code to solve them. I know you're also working on something else that's pretty exciting. You wanna share that? Yeah. When I look back to the last 50 years, we've seen immense progress in the tools and methods we use. We have increased our abilities quite significantly, but I think we are on the verge of a massive breakthrough that will fundamentally change how we understand and write code. Starting today, the Codex model will be available in OpenAI API. That was one year ago in August, 2021. OpenAI, the same company behind GPT-3 and DALI-2, released Codex, an AI system that translates natural language to code. Now, Codex is the model, the brain, but OpenAI worked with Microsoft and released a tool that uses Codex in the background. They called it Copilot and built integrations with some of the most popular tools developers use to write their code. I'm not sure how familiar you are with Copilot, but I've been using it every day for more than a year now, and I love it. I use it every day, and it really, it, yeah, it writes a lot of code for me. It will implement entire functions, entire classes from a description or even just from a name of a function. This will make you more productive, more valuable. By the way, a group of people filed a lawsuit against Copilot. They claim Copilot benefits unfairly from the work of other developers. Now, GitHub just released a few new features that help address some of the criticism, but it's still early and we don't know yet where this lawsuit is going. What we do know is that many organizations are studying the impact of Copilot. Here are the results from a research conducted by GitHub Next. 95 developers, same task, 78% of those who used Copilot finished the task versus only 70% of those who didn't. But more surprisingly, those who used Copilot finished the task 55% faster. Now, of course, you might question these results and the motivations, the methodology, but taking them at face value, Copilot has been a huge boost to productivity. To be clear, however, Copilot is a very useful tool um, from time to time, it will surprise you with unexpected abilities, but it's still far from the ideal future. Copilot needs you, and without you, there's not a lot it can do. We're really interested in this aspect of problem solving, and we were really interested in this aspect of generalization. That was Remy LeBlanc, one of the authors of this paper by DeepMind, Competition Level Code Generation with Alpha Code. Here is where things start getting interesting. Alpha code is a system that can solve competitive programming problems without any human intervention. In other words, you take the description of the problem, give it to the system, and it will write the necessary code to solve it. And alpha code is not just a theoretical system. DeepMind used it in real competitions and alpha code was as good as an average competitor. To be more specific, it achieved on average a ranking of top 54.3% in competitions with more than 5,000 participants. Let's just pause for a second and think about this. This is artificial intelligence interpreting a problem and writing the code to solve it no humans. And yes, alpha code is limited to competitive programming, but there is much more happening right now. That's so cool. And I know you're also working on something else that's pretty exciting. You want to share that with yeah, us? Yeah, we're, we're so excited to show you how OpenAI is making our Codex models interactive, bringing them one step closer to becoming a real pair programmer. I'd love to show you a, a little bit of what we're working on. That conversation between the CEO of Microsoft and the CEO of OpenAI happened about a month ago in October. Sam 
is talking about Codex and the new prototype they're currently working on. And here they're going way beyond what Copilot currently does. Our latest Codex prototype can explain and debug its own code, learn from mistakes, and make corrections on the fly. What Sam just said in that clip is no joke. If their new prototype can do that consistently, it has incredible potential to change the way we write code. I'm going to ask Codex to solve the problem using a simulation and we'll see it take my direction and turn it into code. I'm not gonna play the rest of the demo. Feel free to watch the keynote of Microsoft Ignite 2022 if you want to see the rest of it. Instead, I have something better for you. While I was working on this video, OpenAI released a new model. The model's name is ChatGPT, but it's not just a model. It is a complete application with an interface that we can use to have a conversation. And of course, I tried it. So let me show you a quick video I recorded. I started by asking the model to explain a snippet of Python code, a simple one, and the model gave me a very detailed explanation. By the way, I checked it and it's all good. The second step was to ask the model to rewrite the code, removing the least comprehension and the model did that correctly as well. Finally, I asked it to rewrite the code to handle any potential exceptions, and it nailed it. Now, remember, this is a general purpose model. It's not specialized in Python, yet it seems to know a lot about it. I tried a bunch of examples, and it's really impressive. Still a demo, not perfect, but it definitely shows where we're heading really, really quick, because keep in mind, we have a bunch of giants working towards the same goal. We have Microsoft working on this, we have OpenAI, we have DeepMind, but that's not it. There are still two other huge names investing in automatic code generation. This here is Ghostwriter from Replit. And in case you don't know Replit, their mission is to bring the next billion software developers online and they're doing great. Let me show you a tweet from Paul Graham a couple years ago showing how the user base of Replit has grown over the last few years. That is 5 million developers and that tweet is from 2020. On Halloween, just a few weeks ago, Replit released Ghostwriter, a solution that's very similar to Copilot. And a few weeks later, their CEO posted a long thread on Twitter where he discussed Replit's plan for the tool. And guess what? They are not stopping at a better autocomplete tool. A company with a massive user base of young software developers is working on a fully integrated tool to generate code, which leads me to Google's secret project, Pitchfork. This was a report from Business Insider. They talk about a secret project from Google to teach artificial intelligence to write and fix code. According to internal materials, the project was built for teaching code to write and rewrite itself. Now, we don't know yet how much progress Google has made with Pitchfork, but we know they've been interested in this for a long time. Massive companies with massive budgets are all focused on making making this happen. Now, at this point of the conversation, the usual reaction is, wait a second, is artificial intelligence going to replace me? The short answer is probably not, but I don't want you to think this is nothing. A lot is going to change, and although we don't know exactly how, we can make some assumptions. For example, I expect a huge increase in productivity at every level. I think these new tools will free our talent so we can focus on much more interesting and creative problems. I was listening to Chris Darbell, a former FBI agent, talk to Lex about cybersecurity threats. Listen to him. And there's probably nation states or major organizations that are sitting secretly on hacks like A hundred percent. A hundred percent. They are sitting secretly waiting to expose things. Imagine having an artificial intelligence system them, capable of processing the source code of critical infrastructure to fix potential vulnerabilities, maybe even improving the code with more efficient solutions.
solutions. Those are some implications of where we're heading in the next few years. And that's exciting, but of course, there are still many challenges we need to overcome. From the legality of training these systems, to handling existing biases and avoiding the propagation of problems in the training data. There's a lot of work to be done, but the future is both exciting and coming really, really fast. And yes, if we're honest, we know the work we do and the way we do it will change in the coming years. The real question is by how much?